Now let's do some MCQs in the chapter surface areas and volumes. So let's start with it. So if the radius of base of a right circular cylinder is halved, keeping the height the same, then the ratio of the volume of the cylinder thus obtained to the volume of the original cylinder is what? So let's do it guys. So what is the volume in the first case? See suppose nothing is given so you have to assume the radius to be r and height to be h. So its volume will be pi r square h. Now what is the volume in the second case? That is pi. So it is given over here radius is half. So radius is half. So it will be r by 2 keeping the height the same. Height you are keeping the same. So you can write it like this pi r square h upon 4. Can we do that like this over here? Now what is this pi r square h is nothing but volume in the first case. So you have to find the volume of the cylinder thus obtained to the volume of the original cylinder. So basically uh, you have to find over here volume thus obtained to the original cylinder. So it means can I say it is 1 is to 4. So the answer is 1 is to 4. I hope it is clear to you. Let's take the next question. A sphere of diameter 13, 18 centimeter is dropped into a cylinder, cylindrical vessel of diameter 36. So you can see whenever you get diameters, just change them to radii. So the radius over here will be 9 centimeter. Suppose this is R1 and radius over here will be 18 centimeter, right? Just change these values. Partly filled with water. If the sphere is completely submerged, then the water level rises by. So you see the rise in the water level, the amount of water which has risen is equal to the volume of the sphere dropped in it. So and see the volume of water which is rised over here, it is equal, it is cylindrical, right? So it is pi r square, r over here is 18, so 18 square and rise in water is suppose h, yes or no? Now this is equal to the volume of the cylinder uh, sphere drop. So it is 4 by 3 pi. Radius is 9, 9 cube over here. So you see you can cancel out pi over here, right? So what is the value of rise in the water over here? So this is 4 by 3 into 9 into 9 into 9. Never multiply over here. In the very first step, it will make it very complex otherwise. So you see over here, we'll do it very quickly. So 9 twos are 18, 9 twos are 18, 2 twos are 4 over here, 3 threes are 9. You see everything got cancelled out easily. So the answer is 3 centimeter over here. I hope the question is clear to you. Let us take the next question. The ratio of the radius and the height of the largest right circular cone that can be cut out from a cube of edge this. So basically you have got a cube of any edge. Basically in this question, edge is just given to confuse you. You don't need that edge actually. So you've got a cube over here. What is the right circular cone, the largest right circular cone which you can put over here. So you see the largest right circular cone which can be put inside it will be somewhat like this or not, yes or no. I hope it is clear to you in three dimension. Now suppose the edge uh, or you can say the radius, the radius of the cone is r, right. So can we not say that the edge of the cube over here will be 2r? Yes or no? And can we not say this is also 2r? So can you not say that the height of the cone is also equal to 2r itself? Yes or no? So height is 2r and radius is r. You have to find the ratio of the radius and the height. You have to find the ratio of the radius and the height. So it will be r upon 2r. So the answer is 1 by 2 in the form of ratio it will be 1 is to 2. I hope it is clear. So this value is just given to confuse you. So it is irrespective of the length of the edge of the cube. Let us take the next question. The surface area of a sphere is this, you have to find its radius. So what is the formula to find the surface area of a sphere? That is 4 pi r square, right? Radius is not given, suppose let us assume it to be r. This is equal to 616 and you have to find its radius. So let's simplify it. If nothing is given, you have to take pi is equal to 22 upon 7 only into r square. This is equal to 616. So what is r square over here, guys? It is 616 into 7 divided by 4 into 22. So let's simplify it. 
See, 11 twos are 22, 11 fives are 55, 11 six are 66. Now you see four twos are eight, eight sevens are 56. So this is nothing but seven square over here. Now R square is seven square. So can you not say that the radius of the sphere is equal to seven centimeter over here? I hope this question is clear to you. Let us take the next MCQ. Volume and surface area of a solid hemisphere are numerically equal. Solid hemisphere over here. <clears throat> so it will be somewhat like this guys. Radius R. So volume of a hemisphere is what guys? 2 by 3 pi R cube. 2 by 3 pi R cube. It is equal to its surface area, right? Now surface area of a solid hemisphere is 3 pi R square and that of a hollow hemisphere it is 2 pi R square. Now this is solid. So it will be 3 pi R square, right? So you can cancel out pi over here. Don't cancel R because you'll get two values basically. So this is 2 R cube that is equal to 9 R square. So can I write it like this? 2 R cube minus 9 R square that is equal to 0. So can I take R square as common? So I'll be getting 2 R minus 9 that is equal to 0. So the two values of radii, they are 0 and 9 by 2. Now you see obviously radius cannot be 0, you'll neglect this value. Therefore R is equal to 9 by 2. You have to find the diameter. So diameter will be what? 2 times of the radius. So it is 2 into 9 by 2. So that is equal to 9 units over here. I hope it is clear to you. So that's all which we needed to do in MCQs in the chapter surface areas and volumes.